Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. You're watching my Wales campaign. Now I am the Empire of Britannia. Trying to make my way in the world. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire is basically the biggest threat to us, but we are allies at this time, and we don't have any land that they want. Uh, so, that's good. Very good. I think I'm going to deviate a little bit from my plan last time, which was to go to war with Genoa. And it's to... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this whole Badajoz thing and bring it into our dominion. In order to do that, oh, I've got to disband some troops. I, I, I want to use just my retinue. So I'm going to bring it back up to full strength, or what the strength I had uh, before. Um, so we can get that out of the way. Now, something I did also see when I'm, you know, speaking of the HRE is that we have a claim on the Kingdom of Poland, but we can't press that unless Poland... Well, let's see, if someone declares a war to install someone in Poland, um, or the Kingdom of Poland... What's that? The Kingdom of Poland passes on to someone else. But it looks like Franz is going to, to inherit it. So, there's very little we can do about that. Anyway, let's get things underway. I need to... I have 6,000 light cavalry and 1,500 heavy cavalry. 4,200. So, basically, we need foot soldiers right now. Try to get some heavy... heavy infantry going. Uh, yeah, we don't have any straight infantry, so... One thousand... Two thousand infantry there... Alright, so how many would that be? Fifty-five hundred... It's good enough for me. Why don't I move my retinue across... get ready. Same here. I'll raise my personal ships. Ah, the tournament is over now and it's time to bask in the glory. Glorious event. Everybody loves me! Very good. That was a holdover from last episode. There's a talented town crier in Gwent who seems to be able to capture the attention of the peasant rabble in an instant with his commanding voice. You have studied his methods and the pitch of his voice closely, and you expect to do better the next time you have a, to address a large crowd of people. Very good. My prisoner, Gilen Heinriquez? In Enriquez. Too many different types. Enriquez is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. Ah, oh, he's just... Man, we'll just release him. We'll release him. He is of no threat to us. So I wonder if I can just throw this retinue. Yep, I can. All right, just bring him down to uh, Iberia right now and let them replenish with the rest of the retinue. Alright. I wonder if Badajoz will recover. So what are they in involved in? Claim on Yahira War? Portugal and Leon? Ah! Child lacks a guardian. My daughter, who is a dwarf. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I want to take a chan uh, take a look. I guess we'll give her a a, a marshal or diplomat. <laughs> well, 
I don't see a reason why she should be a diplomat. She would be a good spy, probably. Rune, you take care of her. Let's see what the rank is on this. Okay. We'll just get some points with someone. Gyan of Beha. Peasants have revolted in Torjok. Where's that? Ah, uh, someone should be able to take care of these. Karelia? Kaharva? Karelia. Yeah, Karelia. If no one else is going to do anything about it, then I will. Consumption in Lisboa. Alright, we'll make sure that none of our troops are stationed there. Two hundred and ninety seven soldiers a month. You may as well attack. I cannot declare war if we've raised any of the army levies, and so be it. Ah, Duke. Well, the first of Karelia has declared a Duke Rune the first of Karelia's war to revoke. Ah, revoke. On the count. I'm sure he'll be raising some more troops once I disband these. Measles are have broken out in Kent, and there's a little bit of Somerset going on here. Jocelyn's claim on Somerset. Huge war. I'd like to make sure that they have uh, an outlet. Uh, how many troops is Hereford? It's got about 1,200. I might raise my personal levies. Oh, man. Uh, money continues to flow through the trade port in Finn. But your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. Teach a lesson. Without going to war, you could arrange for... The, a mob to burn it down. No, I don't see the reason why I would want to weaken any of my trade. Let him rot. No! We will not assemble a mob. Alright. Barajos! Declare war. Four? Where's Tomos? Unless he died. Which is entirely possible. Ah, oh, look at that. My nephew, the one I wanted to put. Died of the plague. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, the Count Taganwi of Septa is my... Hmm. Is of my line, but... Placing him as the Duke of Badajoz... Kind of puts my son in a bad situation. I can guarantee Badajoz will, or my son at least, will try to revoke Septa. All right, let's see what else we have. Is that it, Count Taganwi? Oh, never mind. I have Prideri up oust. Who I will educate. 
What? Base reluctance. She hates. She doesn't like me enough. Hmm. How to proceed? Any other one? <laughs> any any other people? So it's uh, Davith here. Oh, uh, sorry. It's Pradiri, who is heir to the County of Septa. So if I don't do it now, it will happen eventually. And he owns three of the territories. Yeah, he would become immediately a powerful duke. My son would have a problem. What? With the combined forces of York, maybe he would be able to help? I mean, there are other Gwynthigs that might come to his aid. Well,. We can offer vassalization. Nope, he's not at peace, so we'll just declare war. We'll make. Oh, let's see. Pradiri ap oust. We'll make Pradiri. The Duke. To delay. The change. The transfer of power unless Septa unless the father dies soon. So let's do this. Yes, we'll let we'll put the child in control of the territory. His father will remain count, and eventually he'll become the uh, the count. You know, the Septa will become a part of his dominion, but not right away. Navarra? Ah, so there's a uh, 10,000. Ugh, 10,000. Wow. 5,000. Army here. My liege, I interested on behalf of one of your prisoners, Duke Thorold of Slevig? No. Duke Friog's not going to like me very much, but I'm not letting anybody out of prison so that they can. Work against me. Because that's exactly what they would do. I have no doubt. The less free dukes, the less rebellion. Let's move to Caceres and see if we can get them to move into Badajoz. Oh, actually. That works out pretty well. Move them out. Let's take... Move them, uh... Now we'll move them. Hope that we hit... Yes, we should hit them first. Although we will have a penalty, it seems like. Yep. Yeah, that was... A non-issue. I think I may have crafted this retinue a little bit different. The Cathar Heresy has appeared in the province of Alto Aragon. No. We'll have to make certain that it does not continue. Send our chaplain to convert the populace. So this is part of France. Let's see what Aragon needs. I think they, the HRE holds most of what's needed. You only need five. Does your kingdoms... Yep. There's no way. Oh! Barcelona. We could try to grab one. This one territory, and then we could make the Kingdom of Aragon. 
Eric Engling died, uh, was murdered on the orders of Ingborg of Stenkill. Ah. So my daughter, who is depressed, is in the court of Austinlet. Hmm. Well, let's invite her back home so that we can make another... So we can make another alliance. What's Bohemia looking like this around this time? Prince Auric, four years. How old is my daughter? Well, Elud is nineteen. So how about I betroth her to your son? All right, good. my suggestion and in seven years we'll have another daughter Take over these each of these territories. Stop it! <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to burn down anything. Even if I have competing merchant republics. See, all of this is France. And this is being incorporated into France here. Mayor Athen is no longer marshal. Died a natural death. Make rune. Empires, Hispania, Stefan Ablethen. See if anybody is alive for you to marry. Not. Oh, okay. My cousin? Wow, they will have like a super diplomatic child if they have any children. Twenty six per month is not great. All right, go back to Badajoz. Duke Friog is no longer guardian. Did he die? Ah, good. Mackin's woman. Find a scholar for you. How does he like me? Not bad. Alright, now it's just a matter of time. Consumption is all over the place over here, so... It's really wreaking havoc on the supply limit. Uh, I'm sure the bishop's not a heretic. Just do your work. Corellia is getting more direct power here. Oh, all of this is Corellia. There's only two territories, so. Duke Boson, a third of Portugal, has usurped the title County of Nahira from King Gilhem the Bold. Let's see. Ah. Yeah. So the crown. Let's see, where is he? Frankish, leading troops in Tulu. Danjou. Where is he? No 
Navara. You're still a king. I just don't know where you are. Huh. Well, I think that since France is really... Oh, okay, Navarra has one territory, like, in, in Tours. So... I don't know how long that's going to last. We're going to see Navarra kind of disappear from the stage. From the world stage. Presidents have revolted in Western Moreland. I know that they can handle that. Offer vassalization. No. Because I'm of a foreign culture. We'll just sew up that. What is this? Genoa. Ah, here we go again. <gasps> Actually, this is going to be interesting. Mongol-British Embargo War. I did not know. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We can call in allies. Genoese are such bastards. Uh, I wish that Norway had something going on here. Prince Franz of the Holy Roman Empire, Prince Ulrich of Bohemia. Eventually she will be wed. So we've got 40 some. Well, let's. We can just look at the realm tree. 100,000 troops. Well, we get to fight the steppe people, whether we like it or not. Whether we planned on it or not. I hate you, Genoa. I do hate you. So how many troops do we need? Well, we have enough in Iberia already. But we need to send some to Northern Africa. An embargo war. Like, what do you want? What if we surrendered? Emperor gain 62 gold from raising one trade post? And who is it against? <laughs> oh. Okay, let me look. Public trade zones? Aha! Okay, so the problem is... Latgale. And they want to embargo me. Sometimes it's better. To just surrender. If I don't lose anything, then whatever. We will give you... Novgorod is now Welsh. We'll give you what you want. You don't need to join my armies, that's fine. Sixty-one gold. Alright. That's worth mobilizing a hundred thousand troops. Uh huh. It's pretty foolish. Rather than move troops all over the place. See the Duchy of York granted to a new ruler? It's granted to my son right now, so in your plot. Rather than mobilizing all those troops, it's better just to accept it and move on. If it was more, hmm. 
then I would read. I changed my mind. Let's see. I grant a landed title. I really wish I could grant a kingdom level title. But I think only kingdom level merchant republics have to be independent? Is that true? Hmm. The Pope was upset with our law of free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it to comply with the church doctrine. I'll give him some more. And no one's doing anything about these rebels. How many soldiers are in this Lancaster? Oh, you have to wait. Peasants revolted in Devon? Desmond? Ah, look at this. To the great Emperor Iago, the first blessings upon your house. Please accept this humble gift of 961 gold. I'll take it. Let's see, how many troops is... Raise your army. Do something about these guys. York. 10,000 troops. Oh, I'm ill. I'm also infirm. Send them home. I'll raise my son's troops to take care of these. Quick, Bryn, get across the sea and take care of these rebels. Oh no! My son has typhoid fever. Oh, please not die. He needs a guardian. <laughs> uh, we'll let him. I'll educate him myself, and maybe I'll catch typhoid fever and die from it. No! End your plot. My son will rule. Oh, there we are. Emperor Iago rests in the arms of the Lord at age 51. Did not survive long. Emperor Guirgen the Third, an ambitious ruler, is now the fourth emperor of Britannia. His father being short-lived. Make sure the game is paused. So our domain size is too big. Can you usurp the Duchy of Navarra, huh? Usurp. Who would I give it to you is the question. Another transfer of power. Let's check our council. Stuff. Oh, you know what? Let's advance the day. in charge. We don't have a better marshal. We sure can find a better steward. And a spy master to be sure. Make him a spy master and we're gonna pay him. We're gonna look and see if we have any ambitions. Improve my marshal ability. 
That's fine. I suppose. My half brother needs a guardian. Let's check this out. Hey, Arth fell. Oh man, all these dukes hate me. Where have we seen that before? Kane and Caswallen. Who is the guardian of. I will take care of my son's education. So, Caswallen, unfortunately, you are going to have to be educated by someone else. The diplomacy. Send him to Guyane. And my son, I will educate myself. My oldest son, I should say. Alright, very good. And Prince Kane. Now I have too many territories. Leicester. Let's see, Tangier. Oh. Are these. Yeah, they must be retinues, Tangerian army, Mayor Ibrahim. Let's see. Any army levies up? No. Okay. I won't disband them. I'll add them to my retinue. about host territory and we'll get ready for another rebellion at least Guirgan is 29 he's a fortune builder so stewardship is high diplomacy a little lower than I would like Craven is not happy but charitable I'm happy with honest I'm happy with Ambitious, definitely. Arbitrary, not so great, but it doesn't affect my diplomacy, so I'm not too worried about that. But I do have to get rid of two territories. And I'm thinking, let's see, we have it. El Reef. I'm thinking El Reef. We can give that away. And perhaps Lester and make it to someone else the Duke of uh, York. Uh, okay, so we'll give El Reef to someone. No direct family members. So we need only two. And we have one, two, three, four duchies. So I want Fess. And speaking of Fess, I need to take land from the Genoese to cement my holding of that title. Okay. So I hate to piss off the vassals so soon, but that's something we have to do now. Before someone... Well, looks like there's no way that it's going to be taken from us currently. Because no one person has two of these territories. Now how is Figwig... They don't have any... Oh, I guess it's just the mayor. The mayor takes care of that territory. Okay. 
So, finish this Casiris, this Badajoz conflict. Give someone else El Reef. Luster is going to be easiest, I think. Let's start there. I may actually hold on to. Well. I'm gonna give out Novgorod. It's one of the highest paying territories here. It's not the, the highest though, so that's fine. Borovici will go to someone else. Whoever I make Duke is going to be powerful here. <laughs> Look at all of these imprisoned Dukes. Wow. So in my court, I have Stephen Gwynthig, Blethen Gwynthig. Your lucky day. I'm giving you the Duchy of Novgorod. Now, Lester. and Gwynthig. Son is uh, Duke Stefan of Novgorod. So we'll not make you any more powerful. of Northumberland. I don't want him to fight for it. But other Gwynthics. Beluzeru. Count of Carrick. Air is... Edward of Athol. Who are you? You're Welsh. <laughs> Hates that I was that he was fired from the council. Mm. Maybe not someone who hates me. Pudion likes me enough. I'll grant you the Duchy of York. And we still should have a heresy going on in Alto Aragon. Work. That still leaves. Ah, that leaves Fess and Tangier in my control. Okay. The new territories that we are trying to expand, or the new kingdom we are trying to expand into. Prussia would like me to r release Count Frederick Romney. See 
if he's un someone else's problem, but Jarmia, then I don't mind. I'll let him go. While you're in prison, who's your not liking me very much? Transfer Romney to you. So I don't have to worry about him. Is there anyone independent up in this territory? No. Then that is good. Alright, Badajoz. Enforce demands. And now, Badajoz is a part of Britannia. Move my troops. Into Fess. Oh, Tangier. Ah, look at this. Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire has declared war on us. Kaiser, Emperor Guirgant III of Britannia gains. Oh, from raising 26 trade posts. Oh! Well, this isn't good. This is not good at all. 115,000 troops to the Kaisers. Oh, wow. Only 142,000. Oh, that is good news. Oh, the Genoese have been a thorn in my side. All right. And how much do we stand to win? Only 2,000 gold. If I surrender, we have to raise 26 trade posts, which is not happening. We just have to be smart about this one. We just have to be smart about this one. Okay, since that's going to be a pretty involved conflict, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, like and subscribe. I really appreciate any comments you guys have um, on, you know, Let's Plays, future Let's Plays, what you would like to see. And, uh, yeah, I just generally appreciate uh, that you guys watch. So, I will have more episodes soon. I'll make sure of it. And thanks for watching.